Hi everyone, welcome to Embellishments on the 11th, where each month a group of us get together. Well, we don't get together, but we make uh, some kind of embellishments. Doesn't have to be a lot. Um, don't have to go overboard or anything. Just make some embellishments that you can use on future cards or tags or other projects that you might have. So this month I chose to use the Bright Baubles bundle. I didn't actually use the stamp set this time but I used the coordinating dies which are the delicate bobbles dies um, I used all of them except for the the um, ribbon which I'll probably use once I decide where to use these so I will just get into showing you but they have um, Mary and Bright Joy a tree and a snowflake or you can just use the outline and do plain ones so I used all, like I said, except for the bow. So let me set that aside. And these can be found in the August to December mini catalog by Stampin' Up on page 40. This is a diagram of the stamp set. And you can see the dies cut out the two stamps, which I didn't obviously do. Uh, here it shows some other uses. I mostly did in this manner, but not that one. I, I like that one now. And then there's another one over here, which looks like they heat embossed it on um, different papers. So that's on pages 40 and 41. And I'll just show you all of mine. Let me move this and forgive my dirty mat. I'm trying not to change it more than once a month. So I use the red and green foil paper, which actually um, carried over from last year. It's on page 30. And it's also in the mini catalog. It's on page 35 in the mini catalog and it's item 153510. You get two red and two green. I'm almost out of um, red. So I didn't, I wasn't able to do a whole lot with the red, but, um, and I haven't punched holes in many of these yet. So here's the Merry and Bright. And here's one with the tree. I did save the little stars on two of them anyway. And then here's the red background with uh, green. So I didn't have enough to do any more red uh, than that. So that's that. And then I did snowflake and copper foil on top the pearlescent um, paper, which is in the annual catalog. Both of them are in the annual. And this is the gold foil on the pearlescent. I really like those. And then I got balmy blue on top of the um, ombre specialty paper which has navy pop, uh, poppy parade and I think mango melody and gorgeous grape which is the other color there. I didn't. I just used the uh, knight of navy on this one, I used the balmy blue in the background with the snowflake on top. And on this one, I used the ombre paper in the background with balmy blue on top. And that one, I did use the um, these little things here to cut out the hole, but then it's a different shape than this one. So I don't really recommend that. I would use those when you're stamping these. Uh, they would be good to cut the hole out because then you're only using this outline piece on, in both cases. So I would recommend that, but not when you're going to overlay it. I'd just use a regular hole punch or something for those. So that is, there's my two stars I have left anyway. Uh, and you can actually save the pieces you cut out and inlay some, but I uh, elected not to do that. Like this one, the tree would be pretty and, and maybe a gold or something too. So anyway, I just made these seven ornaments this time. They're my little embellishments. Um, been kind of in a funk, as many of you know, so I'm trying to at least force myself to do something. And that's what I managed to do for today's collaboration. And so I'm sure I'll be using these on cards or something in the near future. So stay tuned for that. And uh, here's the host code for me in the USA, if you're interested in any of these products or other Stampin' Up! products, uh, that's good through September 30th for any order under $150. Thank you so much to those who have ordered from me in the past. 
Um, today is the 11th, so it's time to look into ordering next month's paper pumpkin kit, and I'll tell you more about that on Wednesday nights live next week. Thanks so much for watching. Hugs, love, and peace, and be sure to check out all the other collab members. Thanks again. Bye.